Hello and welcome. This is CBSE Class 8 Daily Math video and we are learning rational numbers. Today we are going to learn how do we find a certain number of rational numbers between any two given rational numbers. So this is a rational number. This is a rational number. So between minus 1 divided by 5 and 2 divided by 5, both of them are rational numbers, we want to find out 5 other rational numbers. So how do we solve a problem like this? That is what we are going to find out in this particular video. Let's get started. Now, quickly recall that let's first draw a number line. So here we have drawn a number line. Let's say this is a number line. And maybe somewhere here is 0. Now, to the right of 0, the numbers are positive. So we can say this is number 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to plus infinity. And to the left of 0, the numbers are, the integers are negative, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, so on, so forth, all the way to minus infinity. Now, we know that between any two rational numbers, for example, let's say between these two, minus 3 and minus 4, or minus 1 and 0, or maybe between 1 and 2. Between any two rational numbers, we know there are infinitely many rational numbers that exist. So here we have minus 1 over 5, that will be somewhere on the number line. Similarly, 2 divided by 5 will be somewhere on the number line. So we will be able to find out potentially infinite number of rational numbers. We just need to find out 5 in our example. Now, one of the easiest ways you can do is you can take average of the two numbers. So remember that if one rational number is a and the second is b, how do we take average or also known as the mean of the two numbers or arithmetic mean of the two numbers? If one number is a, the other number is b, the arithmetic mean simply is a plus b divided by 2. This is the arithmetic mean. And we also know that the arithmetic mean lies exactly in the middle of the two numbers. So if we simply take average of these two numbers, we will get the midpoint between these two numbers. Right? And we can keep doing that. But we are going to find out an even easier method in this video. So let's find out what that is. So what we are going to do, so here we are trying to find five rational numbers. Five other, I should say five rational numbers between these two. So what we are going to do first, we are going to make the denominator same. So we are going to write each one of the numbers in an equivalent form. So how can we make the denominator same? We can take LCM of the denominators. So LCM of 3 and the number 5 will be 15. So what we will do, we will take the first number. So we can write minus 1 by 5. And we want to make denominator 15. So we are going to multiply this by 3. Now we just cannot multiply denominator. Then the, fra the fraction or the number will change. So we have to multiply both numerator and denominator, same number, to the original number. So we will get minus 1 times 3 by 5 times 3 or simply minus 3 over 15. So minus 3 over 15 is the equivalent form of minus 1 over 5. Now let's similarly write for 2 by 3. So we have 2 by 3. In order to make the denominator 15, we have to multiply by 5. So we are going to multiply both numerator and denominator. So we'll put 5 on both and we're going to multiply this by 2 by 3. So this will be 2 times 5 divided by 3 times 5 or simply 10 over 15. So now we have two numbers. So our two numbers, they are minus 3 over 15, which is this number here. And we have 10 over 15. We have 10, let's write it over here, 10 over 15. Now we can easily write a lot of rational numbers between these two. Because the denominator is the same, so we can write, we'll keep the denominator same. So if we start from minus 3, the next one will be minus 2. Then we will get minus 1 over 15. Then we will get 0 over 15 or simply the number 0. Then we will get 1 over 15. Then we will get 2 over 15. Then we will get 3 over 15, so on and so forth. So let's see, did we get our five numbers? Of course, we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rational numbers. So this is one way to solve such problems. Let's take a look at one other 
question, which is almost similar, but here we basically have two integers. So between four and five, the question is find out seven rational numbers. So how do we solve something like this? So there is no denominator that is given. So if we have a scenario like this, where the integers are consecutive integers, obviously it would have been easier if the question would have been between two and five, find two rational numbers. So we could have said, well, three and four, because we know it is two, three, four, five. That would have been easier. But here, four and five are consecutive integers. We have to find seven rational numbers. So one way to think about that could be we can write four as four by one. And we can write five as five by one. So what we do, we multiply four by one with, say, 10 by 10. And this is typically in multiples of 10. So here, 10 by 10. And let's multiply this also by 10 by 10. So what happens? So this will be four times four times 10 is 40 divided by 10. And here we have 50 divided by 10. So now what we have, let's write 40 divided by 10 here, which is this number. Remember, 40 divided by 10 is simply the number 4. We are writing it in an equivalent form. And here we have 50 divided by 10, which is nothing but 5. So let's write over here, 50 divided by 10. Now we can easily find 7 rational numbers between these two. So we can keep the denominator same, 10, and we will go straight from 40 through 50. That means we will write 41 by 10, 42 by 10, 43 by 10, 44 by 10, 45 by 10, 46 by 10, 47 by 10. So we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have found 7 rational numbers between the integer 4 and 5. So this is how we solve these problems. I hope you're following us along and if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so every day when we upload videos such as this, you'll be immediately notified.